In the new Nether update, there's a bunch of new things, including new equipment, and not a whole lot of people know what equipment does or how to get it, or which one's the best. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over the best equipment for every single one, and how to get every single equipment available in the game. This is how to get the items, how to get the collection, all that stuff. If you guys enjoyed today's video, subscribe to Achievement in the World to me. Let's get into it. It's timestamped in the description, so you can skip to what you want. For clothes, we have four main options we can use, and there are some good and some very bad first go in order first one we're talking about is going to be scourge cloak scourge cloak is gone from the magma boss it requires compact o's ooze blaze ashes and rekindled ember fragments it forms a scourge cloak which gives you 20 crit damage and 20 health and fire damage is increased by one ten thousand percent increase your next hit by 20 percent for the last fire damage you took this may seem good if it increased all fire damage by ten thousand percent however this is actually the worst one by a long shot because this increases the damage dealt to you by 10,000%. And I have this thing on alpha. If you touch fire, you're basically instantly dead. Like, if I walk in lava, I live maybe one second even if I'm spamming my, like, one of atonement. Next up, we have Ancient Cloak. Ancient Cloak is located in the Red Sand Collection at Red Sand 5. It costs 26 withers, or sorry, 64 wither skulls and some Red Sand Cubes. And it gives you 15 health and 10 mining fortune, and health-consuming abilities deal 10% more damage. This one's solid, there's nothing much to it. I mean, it's not the best thing ever. Health and Mind of Fortune, that's nice. And health consuming abilities, there's not a whole lot of them and they don't do a whole lot of health anyway, so it's not too bad. This is an average tier cloak. Next up, we have the Ghast and the Vanquish Gas Cloak. These come from the Ghast collection, if I could ever click the right thing. And you get it at Ghast tier four and Ghast tier seven. Ghast tier four, it's Ghast Cloak, you need 10 technical meat. I'll go over how to get that in a second with three stacks of enchanted guest tiers this gives you um blazing palisade which does 0.5 percent of your maximum health every second while worn and gives you health and defense you can then upgrade this into a vanquished gas cloak which gives you one percent every second and you gain defense depending on how much ghasts you kill tentacle meat is going to be one of the items that is dropped from one of the mobs in another update take a guess considering it's a gas cloak it's going to be the ghasts up in this area fly around or just kill them as we can see right here and you have a chance to get tentacle meat which is how you craft up the gas cloak. It's not surprising, considering it's used to craft up the gas cloak and its tentacle meat. And last and so not least, we have the Molten Cloak. Molten Cloak gives you 5% damage resistance against Kudra, has 20 strength, 30 health, 20 defense, and 5 speed. It doesn't usually have 5 speed, though. I believe there's also one in the Blade Slayer collection, but I can't remember exactly what it is, and no one can really get it right now. However, the best two cloaks is going to be the Molten Cloak and the Vanquished Gas Cloak. Just really depends on your situation, but usually I go with Molten Cloak. Now, the last cloak we have is the Annihilator Cloak. This is obtained from Blaze Slayer 7. You can craft it. I don't know what the recipe is right now. However, what it does is it gives you 5 Strength, 200 Health, and 2 Magic Find, and you heal 1% every 2 seconds and gain 2% Forging XP. This cloak is actually going to be super, super good, almost tied from Molten Cloak, except for the fact it's going to be very, very expensive. 200 health is good, 2 magic defense is good, 5 strength is good, and healing 1% every 2 seconds is good, but it's just the worst version of the blaze cloak, but this is still going to be a good cloak. Now, let's move on to belts. So for belts, we have a, first, we have a few options. The first belt the most people are going to have is going to be the belts that you get from the dojo. And these belts are actually super good, it gives you health, it gives you defense, and it reduces the damage you take by 4% by however much percent, right? And this is really, really good, especially because you can get it for free. It's arguably one of the best belts in the game. Now, what's the next one? We have Implosion Belt, Scovile Belt, and Blaze Belt, and then the Vanquish version of that. It is in the Sulfur Collection. We can see Implosion Belt increases all explosion damage by 25%, and it's with Enchanted Sulfur Cubes and Matchsticks. Matchsticks you can just craft. Enchanted Sulfur, well, it's just Enchanted Sulfur. It's actually super, super good because this affects something we'll go be going over later with the Contagion Gauntlet. It also affects hype, meaning I do 20% more damage with hype, which is actually super, super good and arguably one of the best in the game, but it's not. Honestly, all the belts are really good. Next up, we have the Vanquished Blaze Belt. This is found in the Blaze Collection. It is at 4 and then at 7. It requires a Blaze Belt, which requires Blaze Ashes. You just get you kill Blazes. This gives you Strength, Defense, gain a 20% chance to reflect Fireballs, and kill Blazes to accumulate Strength. This is alright, but it's really not that good. It doesn't have the best ability. It's not spectacular. So, it's not that good. Now, there's one other belt. This one is the most broken belt in the game right now. I don't currently have it. But it is so, so, so good. 
This belt is called the Scovile Belt. This is the other thing you can craft up with your Rekindle Ember Fragments. And this thing's actually insane. What it does is it gives 15 strength and 30 defense. And this says gain 50 defense per ignited enemy within a 10 block radius up to a maximum of 1,000 defense. Now, what does ignited actually mean? You're probably wondering, okay, well, what does that mean? Well, ignited means any mob is on fire. If I shoot this mob, you see how it's taking fire damage every time? That's fire damage. That means he's ignited. What this means, if you have a juju or a term with flame and you're shooting arrows, every time, every single time you hit a mob with an arrow, you gain 50 defense. If you're doing Kudra or in any situation where there's a lot of mobs, that is almost instantly 1,000 defense. It is actually insane because ignited, what can ignite you more than literally setting them on fire with flame or fire aspect? That is literally the description of it. If we go and look at what fire aspect does, it literally says, arrows ignite your enemies. So we know it will work on a juju because it literally says it ignites it. And this will also work on term as well. Basically speaking, it's insane. This is the best belt, no questions asked. This gives you 1,000 free defense. Absolutely correct. Now, let's move on to the last one. Now, for the last one, we have three. Now, for the last one, we have three three gauntlets that we can really get first one is going to be glowstone gauntlet this one is going to be the easiest to get by far and probably best for the majority of players who are early game he just acquires glowstone kind of leather super cheap gives you intelligence and money fortune pretty good the vanquished version of this gives you intelligence money fortune and more health for however much glowstone you mine there's also a molten bracelet that can be used as a gauntlet slot it's just not called gauntlet so i didn't realize it so this gauntlet is i mean it's all right right now, the other two gauntlets come from the Barbarian Duke and Leather Cloth. Leather Cloth, you get one each time you kill, and this can be used to craft either the God Gauntlet of Contagion, and you can just drop the Flaming Fist from the boss itself. There are ways to get it, at least on Alpha there is a way to get it, however, currently there's not because it's a little bit bugged, but Flaming Fist does this. It gives you 20 strength, 20 crit damage, and 5 ferocity. And it says, when equipped, melee attacks fire 3 flaming fists, doing 10,000 damage each. This just adds 3,000 fire damage to whatever you're going for. And this could potentially pair well with someone using the Skullvile Belt and a Berserker. Because that means they'd be able to set mobs on fire in a lot of them, even if they didn't have a bow. So it could be good, but generally it's not nearly as good as the other one, which is Gauntlet of Contagion. This one is actually insane. 15 strength. 20 health and 10 defense. Killing an enemy causes an explosion dealing 10% of their total health to all nearby enemies within two blocks, and then it contagious. So if there's like, so let's just pretend these guys are within two blocks of each other for whatever reason, right? I kill this one, it deals 10% damage, and all these guys are infected, and then do 10% more damage, etc., etc., etc. So the best gauntlet for the majority of situations is going to be contagion. However, you could potentially argue that flaming fist could be better if you're using Skullvile Belt and a Berserker, but most cases, Gauntlet of Contagion is going to be better. Our last Gauntlet I'm going to be going over is going to be the Demi Lord Gauntlet. This one is a tank from Blaze Slayer 4, and it gives you 20 strength, 120 health, and 5 crew defense, and you do 10% damage against Blaze. This is a really, really solid cloak, and I would, if you're doing Blaze Slayer, this one might be better than the Contagious one. If you're doing Blaze Slayer, I recommend you doing this one. If you're doing anything else, I would stick with the Contagious one because it's just better for all around the average situation. But it's still a good cloak. And last, and finally not least, we have necklaces. Necklaces, there's a few options you can get. You can get the Magma Necklace, you can get the Lavishon Necklace, you can get the Derelium Necklace, or the Magma Necklace. First up, Molten. Molten, this is the best necklace you can get under most circumstances. You have 5% damage resistance against Kudra. This is a draw from Kudra at any tier. Next, you have Magma Necklace. This is Magma Necklace, and the Vanquished Magma Necklace are found in the Magma Collection. Shocker, I know. Magma Necklace is crafted with Magma Chunks and Magma Cream. And then the Vanquished Magma Necklace is crafted with the same thing, plus another stars. And it just gives you 20% more Magma Cream when killing Magma Cubes. And you gain health per Magma Cube you kill. The other two, Derelium Necklace and Lavashon Necklace, these are both really shit. Derelium Necklace, you can, I believe, craft with certain things. And Lavashon Necklace, I'm pretty sure, is a drop. But these are both, honestly, really shit necklaces. I wouldn't really recommend it. This one seems right. It gives you one of each stat. It increases the fire damage you take by 8% per one strength. So if you have 1,000 strength, it's 8,000% fire damage. Which is like Scourge Cloak, except it gives you less stats. So I don't really recommend getting this 
ever. Then Lava Shell Necklace, it seems good at first, 50, 100 health, 30 defense, 50 intelligence, except it disables all natural regeneration and all healing. This is so shit, you need healing, period, you need healing. So this is actually a really, really bad one, don't get it. The best necklace you can, you can get is the Molten Necklace followed by the Vanquished Magma Necklace, but really it's just the Molten Necklace. Alright, that was a full guide on every single equipment and which ones are the best, how to get all of them. I think I might have missed a few that were in Blaze Slayer because I can't see them. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, subscribe and stream in the world to me. See you guys next one, peace out.